This is wildlife bi biologist Eric Orford with Wild in New Hampshire. <laughs> Here it is, September 19th. <laughs> I'm off of New Rye Hill here in town, <laughs> waiting with my neighbors. <laughs> well, most of those in that direction have been waiting over 100 years. And uh, a couple of doves. So I've been sitting here. Nice spot up here, quiet. <laughs> well, I did hear some distant chickens and a robin cackled for a while and a chipmunk, he went on chipmunking for a while. <laughs> I've been watching for a kettle. <laughs> I don't mean a kettle like in the pot of gold or anything. <laughs> I've been looking up, way up, hoping to spot a kettle of hawks, broad wing hawks. The teens of September are when our hawks are migrating in New Hampshire. <laughs> yes, they are. They are migrating right now. Yesterday, <laughs> the folks over on Pat, Pat Monadnock, yeah, I think Audubon volunteers usually, they counted 595 hawks yesterday, mostly broad wings. I think something like 40 the day before and 16 the day before that. So the, uh, <laughs> the move is on right now. So what is a kettle of hawks? Well, Broadwings, they, they migrate in bunches, flocks, called the kettle. And generally they find updrafts of wind around these hills. That's why I was hoping up here on New Rye Hill this afternoon. I arrived you know, around one that there would be enough hot air <laughs> to uh, have some happy hawks here circling. Saw none. Well, saw two hawks over towards the west. You know, our broad wings are beautiful. They're round, broad-winged hawks. Kind of a medium-sized hawk, or more on the smallest size. Over there, the two hawks I got a glimpse of, I think they were accipiters. They had pointy wings. Don't know for sure what they were, but here we are. Hoping to spot some hawks here on top of New Rye Hill. It's September 19th. <laughs> nice spot. Well, let's see. So, what about... Broadwing hawks. Well, you know, <laughs> I looked up on my phone. These hawks are migrating to some in southern central America, but the majority go to central South America, Brazil, southern Brazil. <laughs> my phone says that from where I'm still seeing here, not laying here <laughs> with my neighbors, <laughs> it's 4,942 miles away. Almost 5,000 miles. And you know, when these hawks are migrating, I just read they don't eat. <laughs> so you think you are hungry when you get on that plane and fly for an hour or three and have that little package of crackers doled out. <laughs> they go 5,000 miles without eating, apparently, or not very much. They do rest at night, I think. But uh, <laughs> this is the time for hawks to be migrating across New Hampshire in the teens of September, hoping to spot me a kettle of hawks. <laughs> yeah, broad wing hawks. Over there on Pac Monadnock, they count a bunch of them every year. This is the time, so get outside, look up, way up, and see if you can spot yourself a kettle of hawks. When you get outside, don't forget to look up and look for that kettle of hawks. This is wildlife biologist Eric Orff for what's wild in New Hampshire.